My sleepy face. Hi. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas Day 3, which is also my birthday eve. I will be 49 tomorrow. Okay, that's creepy. Did you turn the TV on? Maybe. Weird. Well, I did because I had the uh, fireplace channel on. Oh. Okay. And then when it kicks over, it goes to something okay, I don't know. Weird. Anyway. <laughs> creepy, creepy. And I was on the couch most of the night. I couldn't sleep last night, so I only went back to bed as Denise was getting up. But we've got a lot to do today. Excuse me one second. <laughs> That's in the back shot. You got to show them oh, yes. that's... that's the other um, cushion that she got me. Isn't that a gorgeous Isn't one? that awesome? Love it. Yes, yeah, so I have to pack because tomorrow, my birthday, I'm flying to Saskatoon for a gig tomorrow night. <laughs> and I'll be coming back early Tuesday morning. But before all that happens, <gasps> it's time for Advent. So let's check out what Atelier Cologne's got for us today. I just find this picture so it pretty. Is. There's number three. Smells good. It smells yeah, nice. they, they all, oh, I forgot to put my glasses on. Oh, we started. the goggleations. Get it? <coughs> oh, jeez, it's uh, knocking that over is like. <coughs> Today it is, oh, um, pomelo paradis. It's like a grapefruit based uh, scent. I love this in the summer. Love it. Good. <clears throat> and now for Ula. Ula Henriksen. Oh, the pink. Day three, big pink tree. Poor balance facial sauna scrub. That is an Ula product I haven't tried before. Yay. So, yay me. That's a great calendar and look at the colors. It is so pretty. So pretty. That's very cool. Ba, 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 the big one. By the way, thank you to those of you who have noticed my weight loss in my face. I was thinking that you couldn't see it yet until I edited that empties video yesterday, which we shot in August. Looking at my face and that, looking at it now, you can't see it. Yet, mm -hmm. So. That is encouraging. Oh. So what I have done here with this is in here I'm putting the products that come out of this. But I've used them, so I use that the first day. I used that yesterday. I showed as you know, I showed you. I just thought I'd keep them in there. Now I know number two or number three isn't in there. Because when we opened that yesterday I kind of peeked to see. There it, it is. is number three. Whoa, there you go. Okay, you get that out for me. Get your coffee. Precision work here. Get it. Big navy blue box today. Pro, gro, pro, grow gorgeous, scalp detox, exfoliating pre-wash treatment. I'm really into the scalp treatments lately, so this is very cool. I've never heard of grow gorgeous, so I'll enjoy mm. checking that out. A lot of new stuff for you too. Yes. Go for. Sweet. Now you gotta take them over. Oh yes. Yeah, and yesterday, um, because well, they're just two people that we got. Oh, and day two, so one was a snowboarder. Uh, try to get it to focus. Yeah, there's a little snowboarder on that. Uh, and on the Star Wars, it's a, a chicky, which is cool. A chicky figure. Nice to see more female in Lego. So, yes, yeah, so let's see. Okay. Uh, let's do this one first. Oh. Not the easiest things to open, but uh, looks like another toy of some sort. Well, I'll build it and I uh, will show you. And then over here, oh, similar spot. 
is it's like a barbecue pit or something. But then I'll build these right back in so it doesn't ruin the backdrop. And um, and then I'll show you later and put them on the on the boards. Oh yeah, so let's uh, see what's also in the 24 and one over here. I got a few things on the go today. I was up early, dogs out, and um, laundry. So it's in the dryer now, dryers. I guess uh, another advantage of having a laundromat is you could do all your loads at one time and be done early. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. Uh, so I'll go down in about a half an hour to pick my dry stuff of the dryer. So the 24 and one today. Okay, that was that was yesterday. That's what we built so far. And do, 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 do. ooh, looks like it's going to be a little deer of some sort. And just because I showed you the last two days, this is today's coffee mug. I love this one. We got this at Starbucks probably I don't know 10, 12 years ago, and I just love it. This is day three's 24 in one character. It's a little reindeer. Very cute. And here's what we've built so far. Day one, two, and three. Take a little picture of that and post it on Instagram. Hi everybody, so I'm at the car, ready to take the stuff down to, all the goodies down to Kevin and Lance. Uh, I thought I'd show you the car and how I have it back. So uh, here's the trunk. I got all the boxes of books and mirrors and other things and the candies from her makeup room stuff there. Then this is what it looks like from the outside. So if you open up uh, the front seat all the way down inside, there's just I got a jam full of stuff, baby. More boxes and goodies and ironing boards. So, taking it to uh, a little 15 minute drive down to the uh, center of Toronto, and uh, we'll meet up with Lance and Kevin when we get there. <laughs> and Bruiser. I blew out the candle, they're sneezing now. Well, we blew one out. We blew out the uh, nest pine candle, which is beautiful. But now we have the nest sugar cookie candle, which just arrived. Oh, burning. that's what's so. Uh, so poor Mama Denise deals with this every day. Uh, six <laughs> days a week. No, sorry, uh, five days a week. Monday. Oh, Pearl's eating the Sephora box. Purr, purr. Mama's She's talking. She likes it. I, well, I'd like to vlog if that would be all right. Okay. Yeah, that worked. <laughs> okay. It's not a toy, baby. You can't eat the cardboard. Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Let her do what she needs to do. It's vlogs. Okay, are, are you ready to throw up yet with the camera Sorry, going guys. back and forth like that? Sorry. I'll let it all out. But isn't she cute? So, five days a week, Monday through Friday, I get two newspaper deliveries. <laughs> I get the, uh, the Globe and Mail and the Toronto Star. On Saturdays, we get the Globe and Mail, the Toronto Star, and the New York Times. On Sundays, the Globe and Mail doesn't uh, have a paper on Sunday. So Sunday we get the Toronto Star and the New York Times. Now anybody who gets the New York Times on Sunday knows it's massive. That paper weighs about 10 pounds. So yesterday, because we were on the go all day, I didn't read my papers. So there's usually a small pile like this every morning that Denise <laughs> has to pick up. Because what I do is I get comfy on my couch, I straighten my hips out, I drink my coffee and I read the paper. And to not get mixed up with what I've read, what I haven't read, what is too read, what's to be keep, I throw it on the floor in front of the couch. So Denise went to deliver the stuff, as you saw, and I was like, oh, I'll read my papers from yesterday and today. So this is what it looks like when I'm done. 
Oh. And I know that there's an environmental issue with reading papers, but I try to be very environmentally responsible in every other way, but I am old school. Okay, I like to drop a needle on a record, not download an MP3 or listen to an electronic file. I like to crack open a book, a real book, and I like to read the paper as a paper, not on the computer. So now we will gather all this up, but before we do that, I'm keeping this part to read. How's your paper chewing? Girl does her best to shred for me. Look how little tiny bits, but don't eat it. Hey. You know, a little scavenger. Now, if you're from Canada, you know that we in Canada have slowly been losing our department stores. So the high-end department stores, Eaton's, which was the first place I ever bought Chanel makeup, the year that Vamp came out, which was called Rouge Noir here in Canada. I was on a wait list at the Eaton's in Halifax for I don't know how long to buy it, and it took like half a paycheck for me to get it, but... Eaton's went under. Um, the small, the, the lower end retailers like Kmart left. Zellers went under. We got Target and it was only here for a year and a half. They built all these big buildings and then it left again. Most recently, like a Canadian icon, Sears, mm. has announced it is ending its life. So for so many of us, I'll, I'll be 49 tomorrow. Every single Christmas as a child, you get the Sears wish book and you circled all the crap you loved and your parents bought your Christmas gifts through the Sears wish book. Every September, my school clothes were bought through Sears. So it's a big deal and like you feel really bad and I and plus all the retail space that they won't be renting now and that's hard on the landlords and ah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm always wondering what could they do differently? You know, <laughs> how, how could they survive? We have one major Canadian retailer left, The Bay, and in fact, it's majority owned now in the United States. But I tell you, I, tell you, I have figured out one of the reasons why it's going under, and uh, I'm sure when it does go under, I will refer people back to this video. I order from The Bay a fair amount online. As you heard, we got our, our mattress from there. Christmas uh, so, tree. So we get big things from them. We got our Christmas tree from The Bay. I tend to buy um, perfume from them, the Chanel number no. 5 I'm wearing right now I bought from them and I order it all online. When you order anything from the beauty section of the bay online, you can add three samples to your bag similar to Sephora. In the three years that I have been ordering from the bay, every single time I order a beauty product, here's how it goes. So most recently. We have discovered that Jean-Paul Gaultier's classic fragrance is available in this special Snow Globe Holiday Edition. I'm a Snow Globe collector. Denise buy me, buys me snow globes every year. <clears throat> she said, by all means, let's order that. It'll be a Christmas present. Excellent. I ordered it. I put my three samples in the bag. Today, this box came. Can you tell how light this box is? Cool. I know why it's How cool. big it is. I know why it's light. It's huge. It came expedited parcel. What does the box cost? What does that expedited parcel through Canada Post cost? Who knows? And I know what it is because every single time I order, this is what happens. Big box, okay? Expedited parcel through Canada Post. Wasted paper filling out. I don't want to show you my address, but filling yeah. out a sheet. Another wasted fancy card telling me that my order was inspected and packed by Maricor P. What did Maricor P pack? I'll tell you. A sample of Viva La Juicy. A sample from Estee Lauder. And a sample from Dior. And that's fucking it! That's it! That was sent in this. These are free samples. You didn't even make money off of me friggin' putting these in my basket. <laughs> Wait until the perfume is ready to ship and ship it together. And then maybe you'll survive for five more years. Like, surely to God, 
the people in the shirts and ties in the executive offices do not realize that this is happening. And if it was a one-time thing, I wouldn't be making this big deal out of it. But folks, three years now, yeah. I've been ordering from them. And every single time, my samples come in a separate box via expedited postal. I said, good day. I am done my rant. So I wanted to show you what was built today for day three of the Lego. So this was a little fireplace, so I put it there uh, on, on above the faux hearth that hearth is there. And then there's the uh, another little shippy thing. So I, the Star Wars is new to me, so I don't know where to put what and when, when I see everything in, in its size. But I think those are probably two toys, you know, much like when we see like the train on the city. So... I'm assuming it's toy size of like land speeders and things like that. So, if you know more than I do about Star Wars Lego, let me know. But that's what we got so far. And I think we're going to sign off for the night. For the night, we are. I'm all wrapped up because I find it a little chilly in here tonight. We have been watching winter movies because <laughs> trying to get in the spirit, even though winter won't come here. I'll be in winter tomorrow. I'm flying to Saskatoon tomorrow. So we watched Fargo, we watched Deadfall, tonight we're watching the American version of Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And then we just have to pack a bag, very small, very light. I'm not even going to check it because technically from the time I'm wheels up in Toronto to wheels back down in Toronto, it's about 24 to 27 hours. So tomorrow, my 49th birthday. I will fly out at 12, which means I have to leave the house at 10. Um, I'm going to do my makeup here, my stage makeup. Get to Saskatoon, check into my hotel, change clothes, go to the gig, do the gig, go back to the hotel, sleep for a few hours, then I'll have to get up at about 3 o'clock in the morning because my flight back leaves at 6 a.m., which means I have to be at the airport at 5, which means I have to leave the hotel at from 4.15. So, that being said, we are going to shut it down now and um, I might edit this tonight so Denise can put it up after I leave tomorrow. So thank you for tuning in to day three. It was a lazy Sunday. It wasn't a lot of excitement today, but uh, we're always so happy when you come drop by and hang out with us. Say goodnight, boo-boo. Goodnight, boo-boo.